Hello and welcome. I'm Bio, and today we are looking at some more Garfield games. This is the last time we're going to be looking at Garfield games. Other three Garfield games to look at, and that'll be that. And this time around, I decided to go into the fan made territory. Starting with Lasagna Boy Classic. I like to stress, and stress this this is the classic version. There is another Lasagna Boy game, which I think is an expanded version of it. And it, at first, it was basically like a kind of a spin off of Garfield, and I think it's kind of become its own thing now, but. Eh, the original classic was, I think, inspired by Garfield. Probably a little bit. You, 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 again, it, it's called Lasagna Boy, and uh, yeah, but you'll you'll see why why the, why there are such uh, similarities. The other two games are a little bit more blatant about being inspired by Garfield. So. But I picked these three games because they seemed interesting. I don't plan to play through the entirety of all three of them. Just we'll have a little, little bit of play, a little bit of fun, a little bit of fun. See, see what they're like. Starting off with this. So yeah, uh, Lasagna Boy, uh, developed. Um, well, de there's no published by technically in this one because all of the all three of these games are itch.io games. So there's no published by. It's developed developed by Trashy Rascal Studios. And uh, I think I don't know exactly when this game came out because it doesn't say it. Looks like the earliest development log says the demo came up on 30th of December 2018. So I'll I'll just put a year in the released in instead. So we'll, we'll go with 2018. Anyway, let's uh, let's dive in. And yeah, boy. Apparently it's getting well. It, it says on itch.io it's a it's a puzzle horror game with a Game Boy aesthetic. So, Let's see options: sound, full screen, back, game. No, you are trapped in the house. It's dark. Lasagna. Oh. Oh, nice. All right, so we're in the game now. Go try and look search through the drawers. Oh. All right, so it's locked. So yeah, basically, Garfield, he'll be coming. You gotta you kinda use the sound cues to hear whether or not Garfield is coming. Go around searching for uh <laughs> Look at him. Oh, I can hide in there.
Right, so I have a key now. Which is okay, I was... Okay, so my initial impression of this game, it's simple, but it's cool, you got a spooky Garfield. And you can use the sound to hear when he's coming. He'd be very spooky. got me. Okay. I haven't really got much to say about this one. It's it's okay. Sure. going past he couldn't see so okay I, I find that a little bit bullshit but okay any pixel of Garfield is in that visible in that visible zone even if his face is going completely past do accounts give him eyes all over his body then I don't know Oh, you almost got me there. You almost got me. Nice try, though, Gorefield. Failed. And now we're up in the attic. The life. So life's back to full now. Okay. I don't understand the point of the wardrobes if he can't see you. He's coming. And he's gone again. some bolt cutters. Not a clue what I'm supposed to do with bolt cutters. Gorefield, what will he do? What will he do next?
I wonder why it took so long for him to, to get rid of that dialogue box. Way too long to get rid of that dialogue box. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the pot guys. I honestly have no clue what to do with the bulk guys. Not a clue. But, like, I haven't seen anything that would, could require it. Be honest. Okay, I'm I'm a bit stuck. Where am I supposed to apply the bolt cutters? Yeah, I don't understand where I'm supposed to put them. What? You almost got me there, boyo. You almost got me. I have no clue where to put these bolt cutters. The jump? I have no clue where to put these bolt cutters. I have no clue whatsoever. What, what, like, I have not seen anything that even remotely looks like a place where I could use them. I thought maybe the piano, but... Nope. Ah. I didn't, didn't realise I could go down. I tried going down. I swear I did. Yeah, I can hear you, boy. You keep moving around. Bolt cutters. Use them here. Use them. Cut the bolts. I don't know. You got me! How annoying. Ah, that's what the bulk cars did. Attic. <laughs> I 
I haven't really got much to say. You might be going, you're not really saying much, are you, Bio? But I haven't really got much to say. You, you, the game speaks for itself. I think I understand what I'm supposed to do. I think so. We'll find out. That's a very dodge move. Maybe I'm... I thought the D... I'm going to be honest with you. I thought the TNT was going to blow up, blow up the front door. Well, that's common sense, right? Common sense dictates that you'd blow up the fucking... You'd blow up the bloody front door, wouldn't you? Whoa! Almost! You almost had me! I don't understand this game. Okay, you don't want the dynamite at the front door. You don't want the dynamite at the elevator. Where's the dynamite go? What what line of thought do you have, developer? Uh, I don't care. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of backtracking, but then again, it's uh, it's an indie game. I'm not surprised. It's an itch IO game. Um, I'm not going to play any more than this. I um, I don't. Again, I feel like I've kind of been betrayed a little bit. Like my common sense would say, okay, front door then, dynamite at the front door. That's my common sense. Oh, but how would you? How would the TNT wire reach the front door? Where's that TNT wire go? Somewhere in this basement? You're not given that information. The key point is you're not given that information. So how would you know? You don't. You have to guess. So if you have to guess, you go with what seems like the sensible thing. Oh, yeah, the front door. I came in the front door, used the dynamite at the front door, placed at the front door, run that down. No! <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do clearly so the second thing you think is maybe the lift maybe the lift is working but the doors are still sealed shut so you need a tight tnt to blow open it's video game logic at the end of the day but no it's not that either so what am i supposed to do blow up the piano is that what you want me to do what would i blow up the piano that makes no sense so yeah yeah, I'm going to stop here. So, uh, I've been by. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. I haven't really got much to say about this one, if I'm honest.
really haven't. It's uh, it's fine, what it is.